bloop, bloop. For security purposes, the building is divided into upper and lower halves. Okay. The lower area consists of offices and meeting space for staff and visitors, while confidential military projects and technical research are restricted to the upper levels. Okay. So Makes that's sense. where the brains in the server room will be, up top. Indeed. But that elevator can only access the lower floors. Makes you sense. need to get to the 20th floor and pass the security gate there to reach the upper area. Let me guess. Time to find another left hand? Yeah. Well, that is the problem. Security cyborgs would not have sufficient clearance. But managers and senior staff have already been evacuated, no doubt. So... The only option is to cut the power to the security gate, which will not be easy. It is powered by no less than three systems, including a backup power supply. You will need to destroy all of the electrical control panels to disable them. Okay. In any case, you should arrive at the 20th floor soon. Okay. You know what? While I have a chance here, I did say I was going to do this more often. So, let's see. We'll talk to... We'll talk to Wolf. Wolf, what's your position? My apologies. I appear to be lagging behind once again. Again? It's fine. We couldn't have hacked that elevator without you. Indeed. Your gratitude is appreciated. I am headed your way now. There is no need to wait for me. Continue with your mission. Got it. Okay, that wasn't really, uh... Let's talk about them. Uh, yeah? You caught all that. Guess I was Jack the Ripper all along. Whoa! All that talk about justice. And here I am. Just another killer. Raiden. Listen. I want you off this mission. You don't have to go through this. Kevr Doc can handle saving for me. Raiden, I, I don't want... It's my responsibility to stop them before they make another Jack. It's my duty. No one else's. I like That's how his voice is, is heavier now. Live by the battlefield. Die by the battlefield. Raiden, listen. Courtney, this isn't the place for you. This... Keep working with me, and you're gonna wind up someplace dark. I'm fine with that. What? They... They're kidnapping kids. They're ripping their bodies, tearing up their souls to make soldiers. I feel like they have to pay for this. If I just quit here, how would I live with myself? Courtney. I mean, maybe I'd be happier going back to school, getting my MBA, making six figures. You're not making six but figures? What? I know. <laughs> I've seen the truth. And I can't just forget it. Maybe I can't do what you can, but come on. At least I can handle your data. I... So do you want to save or not? Oh, so she's supposed to be our save person, like in the other games? Lol. I'm good. No? If you say so. If you change your mind, just say the word. I never had to say sure about this. Positive. Look. I, I completely forgot you know about that. You aren't Jack the Ripper. I... I mean, sure, you don't exactly hate every minute of your job out there, but the Raiden I'm talking to right now, he's the same one I've always known. Aww. The one who put his life on the line to protect the innocent, not just some maniac with a knife. <sighs> who knows? Maybe I'm just out for revenge against everyone who made me this way. It's revenge? more than that, Raiden. That much I know. In any case, I'm going to stop this VR training. All right. Good luck, Raiden. Okay, so you know, I kind of feel bad now because she's the person who usually hands over saving, like the other games where you would call the person the on the codec. The panels are most likely hidden in the walls. Use your enhanced AR to search for any unusual heat sources inside the wall sphere. Okay. But yeah, oh, there's someone there with a thing. We'll try and get his thing. But yeah, she, the safe person. We usually there's always a safe person who would handle that kind of stuff when, uh, you know, when you call them on your codec. Um, cameras? Are those cameras? Why is the thing going off? The music. Okay, whatever. Um. Oh, 
fight? No, okay. Get out the way, come on. Alright. Uh Alright, so that guy. Whoa! Hold on, I want to restart that. Nah, 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 hell no. I, I want to actually, like, go through that without being seen. <sighs> I didn't even notice that guy. It was like... Alright. The electrical panels are most likely hidden in the walls. Use your enhanced AR to search for any unusual heat sources inside the walls there. Oh. Okay. Let's try this again. Uh, oh! Okay, I came in here too. Another thing. Let's see what should be our mission. If is this is like not thir 14, then. Okay, it's 14. Okay, there's an enemy there. Uh, actually. Oh. oh, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, there's an enemy there, and then there's like, the one that's in here I want to get. I can get him easily, but... You just have to be careful of that one guy who's like in that room there. They both have relatively short, like, walking paths. That's the thing. Let's. let's... They both. Huh. Maybe it's best if we let's let's okay let's do this. Hold up. Well, okay. That's totally fine. Let's make sure this guy doesn't see us. That's all. Oh, there's another thing here too. What's this? Uh, 15. Okay, cool. Another box. Oh, a special one. What's this? Oh, it's just BP. What's up with this? Okay, whatever. Um, I guess it's a good thing I kind of walked around a little bit. Alright, so there should be a guy in here. Oh, this guy. Use your enhanced AR to search for any unusual heat sources inside the walls there. Alright, I understand. I heard you the first time. Alright, if I go around the back, I need... I want to make sure to get his, uh... His arm. Uh... There should be an electrical panel nearby. Use your enhanced AR to locate it. There you go, got it. The angle is really bad there. I'm happy I got it there. Okay. We got the... Can I turn that on? Thank you. Wait, there should be a what, he said? Ooh, I see it, actually. Um, another item box. Good. Run down, two to go. Keep at it, Raiden. Alright, let's see if we can sneak up on this. There's two people in here.
There's one facing that way, and there's one... And I don't know when this guy is about to, like, turn around. The one on the other side. Uh, cause then that guy would... And that guy would probably see me, so let's... Oh, that guy's all in his own world here. <laughs> Ugh, that's annoying, because they have really, like, the same kind of path almost. Like, right now would have been a good time, but then that guy would have probably saw me. I don't know. I don't know how to tackle this right now. Maybe if I get their attention somehow. Um, hmm. Sorry for not commentating as much. It's just that I'm like. So there should be an electrical panel nearby. Use oh. your enhanced AR to locate it. Assassin behind closed doors. Hello? Okay. There should be an electrical panel nearby. Use your enhanced AR. Okay, I heard to you the it. first time, bro. Like Like, you really don't need to repeat yourself so many times, like... Yoink! Alright. Yeah, when, when, like, this happens and... I just kinda get into it, like, oh shit, let's, uh, assassinate everyone, I just kinda go off in my own world here, so I apologize for that. Still, I did say when I started the series I would try and do a lot of this under stealth and just kind of like, you know, let not no one see me or anything, so. Uh, last one and then we should have this area cleared out and then we can find the, uh, whatever the things are called. Okay, once you like somewhat head in that direction, I will, uh, come and poke you in the back. <laughs> Wait, how far does he go? Cause like I could have gone now and I probably would have gotten him. But let's just make sure. I'm gonna go around this way, and that way when he goes around, I'll just hey buddy, guess what? Poke head. Alright, let's see here. We have another item box. Okay, what's this? Grenades. Alright, there's one of the panels. Excellent! Just one more! And uh Enemy headed your way, right? Oh. And he also has a I can't... Okay, this is something I'd have to actually, like, distract them. So, what can I use? Let's use... Okay, I wasn't... Oh, wait, did I get it? 
Lol. I like how that's still like, you know, uh, got him like all excited and stuff because considering how. Yeah, that should take care of security. Now, head back to the gate. Oh, we got another one? Nice, thank you. Um, anything other secrets around the place? Nope, nothing that I care about. Alright. Let's move forward. Boop, 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 boop. Alright. Boop, boop. Guidance, shall I activate your pain inhibitors now? No, keep them off. I need it this way. Ah, uh, well, as you wish. I, still have... I must say, I have turned more than a few men into cyborgs, but you... Well, your past is most, uh... Yeah. What you getting at, Doc? Most of the time, you're working with first world ex-military. Grown men. Compared to the average third world child soldier, I can't really complain. Most of them, they're the sort Why is of gorillas ripper your typical right patient gets paid to slaughter. Uh, perhaps, but, uh... This shouldn't be news to you, Doc. Uh, yes, yes, but, uh... Look, just help me take care of those brains after I bring them back. I do my business, you do yours. Uh, yes. Wow, that was kind of harsh. Let's, uh, let's actually talk to the doctor, see How's it going with the brain units, Doc? Any problems? Oh, they could not be better. They're being kept at exactly 36 degrees Celsius with a steady, uninterrupted supply of oxygen and glucose. Synchronizing them with our equipment posed some difficulty, but everything's perfectly stable now. That's good to hear. What kind of VR are they getting? I prepared very comfortable rooms for each and every one. It's not quite Schloss Neuschwanstein, but <laughs> each one enjoys the equivalent of a four-star hotel suite. Every room includes an attached pool and an extensive library of on-demand video programming. Three oh, meals are delivered daily, and while we're only able to do so much vis-a-vis -vis taste sensation, it should satisfy the psychological need for food, at least. Doesn't sound too bad. I wouldn't mind a little VR training like that for a change. <laughs> oh, be my guest. I'd like to experience it for myself, you know. But for now, it is available to cyborgs only. Exciting work is being done in the realm of invasive brain-machine interfaces. But there simply isn't much demand for it at the moment. I guess not too many folks are willing to stick electrodes in their brains just for a taste of VR. Yeah... Uh, perhaps, but the sense of reality is considerably improved over nanomachine-based non-invasive methods. If prices were kept low enough, I imagine the video game industry at least would clamor for it. Hmm. Who coded the virtual hotel? An assistant. He used to write VR programs for UGs, but now specializes in cyborg software. A bit of a niche right now, yes, but when brain-machine interfaces take off, it will be a big business. <laughs> the children's accommodation is a reworked version of the original beta software he built. The room's 3D models are all made using free libraries. It couldn't have been easier. <laughs> I wish everyone loved their work as much as you do, Doc. They don't go stir-crazy, though? Cooped up in their rooms? There's little I can do about that. Creating an open world would take orders of magnitude more resources. Makes sense. What about communication? Another weak spot, yes. The NPCs available to us are all for military training purposes. It will be some time until we see VR characters capable of convincingly human interaction. That's... Sadly, we're also not yet able to connect multiple brains to a single VR space. My assistants are operating virtual agents to give them a bare minimum of mental care. But our team is limited in size. And none of us are medical professionals, you know. They can't stay in there forever. Yeah. Wow, okay. How interesting. Alright, a little something extra to throw in. 